Hello, hockey fans, and welcome back to another episode of Whatever Happened To, the series where we take a where are they now look at players who found success in the National Hockey League but are no longer permanent fixtures in the league, either due to controversy, poor play, or just rotten luck. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at an eight year veteran of the league. As we ask, Whatever happened to Ryan Spooner? The 45th overall pick in the 2010 NHL entry draft by the Boston Bruins, Ryan Spooner spent the next two seasons after his selection in the Ontario Hockey League, split between the Peterborough Peets, the Kingston Frontenacs, and the Sarnia Sting, where he scored 147 points in 121 regular season games, as well as 9 points in 11 playoff games. The Canadian forward also got the opportunity to spend some time with the AHL's Providence Bruins towards the end of each season, where he scored 7 points in 8 games with the team. As his eligibility for the juniors came to an end, Spooner was ready to become a full-time pro, work his way up the depth chart, and earn a place on a National Hockey League roster. Though it would take some time to get there, the former second round pick would certainly get his wish. But first, there was a lockout! During the 12-13 lockout, Spooner spent the majority of the year in the minors with the Providence Bruins, where he made quite the first impression in his first season as a pro, as he scored 17 goals and 40 assists for 57 points in 59 games. This almost point-per-game pace was so impressive that it earned Spooner a brief call-up to the Boston Bruins roster, once the lockout finally ended to make his debut in the NHL. Spooner joined Boston for a four-game stint and went scoreless in that span, before being sent back down to Providence for the rest of the year. Upon his return to the minors, Spooner helped the AHL Bruins clinch a postseason berth, where the Canadian forward scored five points in 12 playoff games, but Providence were eliminated in the second round by the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. Though his appearance in the league that year was pretty short-lived, Due to his impressive season in the minors, Spooner had been given his first opportunity to step onto the ice in the best league in the world. Thanks to his production in the seasons to come, it wouldn't be his last. The 13-14 season saw Spooner begin the year in Providence once more. After scoring 46 points in 49 games, Spooner was called up to rejoin Boston's roster for his second stint with the team. The former second round pick stuck around for noticeably longer this time around, scoring 11 assists in 23 games before being sent back down to the minors for the rest of the year. Spooner would once again find himself suiting up in the AHL playoffs, where he scored 15 points in 12 games, but Providence were eliminated in the second round by the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. Talk about deja vu. The 14-15 season saw Spooner have a pretty similar journey to the two seasons prior. Spend most of the year in Providence, where he scored 26 points in 34 games, get a call up to Boston's roster, where he scored 8 goals and 10 assists for 18 points in 29 games, before being sent back down for the AHL playoffs yet again. Speaking of the AHL playoffs, Spooner would score 4 points in 5 games during the postseason, but Providence were eliminated in the first round by the Hartford Wolfpack. After his three-year entry-level contract had expired, and having continued to show improvement in his production every time he was called up to the NHL, Boston were ready to give their Canadian forward his first real shot in the league. So, on July 1st, 2015, Boston signed Spooner to a two-year, $1.9 million contract worth an average annual value of $950,000 a season. With a shiny new contract in his back pocket, Spooner was ready to take his game to the next level, and show the Bruins that this new deal was money well spent. Would he accomplish this task? You're damn right he would! 
The 15-16 season saw Spooner earn a spot on Boston's roster out of training camp and suit up in his first full year in the league. The former second round pick would take this opportunity and run with it, producing the best season of his entire NHL career, as he scored 13 goals and 36 assists for 49 points in 80 games, setting his career highs in goals, assists and points. Despite this breakout season, Boston were unable to clinch a postseason berth, as they missed out on the playoffs for the second straight year. After three years of bouncing between the minors and the bigs, Spooner had finally earned a full-time spot on an NHL roster, becoming a key producer for his team in the process. All he had to do now was keep up the good work. The 16-17 season saw Spooner suit up for Boston once more and look to keep reaching new heights in his sophomore year in the league. Unfortunately, the Canadian forward took a noticeable step back in his production, as he scored 11 goals and 28 assists for 39 points in 78 games. These disappointing numbers, especially compared to the season prior, did help Boston return to the playoffs though, where Spooner scored two points in four games, but Boston were eliminated in the first round by the Ottawa Senators. After his two-year contract had expired, and having finally established himself as a legitimate point-scoring forward on the Bruins roster, Boston wanted to keep Spooner around for the immediate future. So, on July 26, 2017, the Bruins signed Spooner to a one-year contract worth $2.8 million. Thanks to his good numbers in the past two seasons, the 24-year-old forward had just signed his first multi-million dollar deal. However, Spooner would no longer be in Boston by this contract's conclusion. The 17-18 season saw Spooner take to the ice with the Bruins once again and look to bounce back from his previous down year, as he scored 25 points in his first 39 games of the season. However, on February 25th, 2018, it was announced that Boston had traded Spooner to the New York Rangers, along with Matt Bolesky, Ryan Lindgren, a 2018 first round pick, and a 2019 seventh round pick, in exchange for Rick Nash. After parts of six seasons in Boston, Spooner would be heading to another original six franchise in the Big Apple to see if he could become a star on Broadway. Spooner spent the rest of the season with the Rangers and produced a strong debut for his new team, as he scored four goals and 12 assists for 16 points in 20 games. Despite this strong start in New York, the Rangers were unable to punch their ticket to the playoffs, as they missed out on the postseason for the first time in nine years. After his one-year contract he had originally signed with Boston had expired, and having gone almost a point per game since moving to New York, the Rangers were interested in keeping the Canadian forward around for the foreseeable future. So, on July 31st, 2018, the Rangers signed Spooner to a two-year, $8 million contract worth an average annual value of $4 million a season. Though this would be the biggest contract of Spooner's career, due to his play in the coming seasons, it would also be his last. The 18-19 season saw Spooner take to the ice with the Rangers and look to continue his impressive play since debuting on Broadway. However, after scoring just two points in the first 16 games of the season, it was announced on November 16th, 2018, that New York had traded Spooner to the Edmonton Oilers in exchange for Ryan Strome. After less than a year in New York, Spooner was heading north of the border into oil country to see if he could get his season back on track and become a productive player once again. Would he achieve this goal? Well, Spooner joined the Oilers roster and continued to struggle, as he scored just three points in 25 games. Things got so bad that the former second round pick was even demoted to the AHL for a seven game stint with the Bakersfield Condors due to his lackluster production. 
thanks to his continued disappointment on the school sheet. On February 16th, 2019, it was announced that Spooner had been traded again to the Vancouver Canucks in exchange for Sam Gagne. Just like that, Spooner was joining his third NHL team that season and his fourth NHL team in almost a calendar year. Spooner spent the rest of the season with Vancouver and managed to pick his play up a bit compared to earlier in the season, as he scored four points in 11 games. Unfortunately, these stats weren't enough to help Vancouver make it to the playoffs, as the Canucks missed out on the postseason for the fourth straight year. With another year and $4 million left to pay on his contract, Vancouver didn't seem too keen on paying Spooner his salary, given his lacklustre season the year prior. So, on June 29th, 2019, it was announced that Vancouver had bought out the final year of Spooner's contract, thus immediately making him an unrestricted free agent. With little to no interest from NHL teams in signing him when free agency began, Spooner decided to head overseas, as on July 17th, 2019, he signed a one-year contract with H.C. Lugano of the Swiss National League. After parts of eight seasons in the NHL, Spooner was taking his talents across the pond to see if he could get his career back on track in Europe. The 1920 season saw Spooner begin the year with Lugano and look to get his career back on track in Switzerland. However, after scoring a single point in two games with the team, on October 21st, 2019, it was announced that Spooner had mutually terminated his contract with Lugano in order to sign with Dinamo Minsk of the KHL. To this day, Ryan Spooner is a member of Dinamo Minsk's roster. At the time of this recording, the Canadian forward has scored 29 points in 35 games, but is a minus 24 on the year. So whilst his point totals have certainly bounced back from a rough last season in the NHL, there's still plenty of work to do. At just 28 years old, there is absolutely the possibility that Spooner could well return to the National Hockey League if he finds a way to get his play back to the standard that NHL teams expect over the next few years. However, if he isn't able to do that, or if he does, but NHL teams are still hesitant to sign him, it seems like Spooner could well earn a living and make a name for himself either in the KHL or in one of Europe's other top leagues. But regardless of where he goes or who he plays for next, there is no doubt that Ryan Spooner has had a pretty good NHL career up until this point. In 325 regular season games, Spooner has scored 48 goals and 119 assists for 167 points, as well as two points in four playoff games. There are plenty of second round picks that have done worse, that's for sure. And there you go. That's what happened to Ryan Spooner. What do you guys think about Spooner's career? Was it good, bad, or do you think he will make a return to the NHL in the next few years? I'm not so sure, but then again, crazier things have happened in this sport, right guys? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. A big thank you to Chris Gadsby, Connor B, Jordan Whitehead, and Martin Tolness, as well as a huge thank you to Max Artists and The Legacy for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further, and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.